So this is going to be an eyebrow, um, how I do my eyebrows. And um, uh, my eyebrows have gone back to what they were last fall, which was um, really thin and light and almost makes me look really pale when I don't have anything on my eyebrows. And I don't know, I just thought of doing it again, but a bit more cleaner looking. Um, I still make them look a little thick, um, but I will probably go back. Uh, regrow my eyebrows again so that they're nice and thick um, because what happened was last summer, last July, so July 2010, I, I started um, actually drawing on my eyebrows, like as you see, like when they're really light and thin like this, and just making them look more defined because I have really like showing my eyebrows. I just get tons of hair along here and like. They're tweez now, but uh, I just get so much, and my eyebrows are really thick because, you know, when I was young, I used to shave them off, so they got really thick. They're really, like, they're like stubble. They're not very nice, but I work with what I have, so my eyebrow piercings, a little dirty, need to clean. So as you see, and I trim them so they're all smooth like that. Um, and they're kind of long. I don't, I don't know, I just work with when I have, uh, also, you can see I'm a little broken out right now, whatever, it's about my eyebrows, so, um, and one trick that I learned from, uh, one of the YouTubers, I think his name's Goss Makeup, and he's amazing, go check out, I'm gonna link his, um, YouTube, because he's got really great tricks, and he's really fun to watch, so, uh, one thing he, he taught is that, um, the wider these are, the bigger your nose will look, and of course, that's, what happens in my case. My nose does look really big. It is really big to begin with when, when, from the front, but um, I don't know. I just, I can't, um, I can't have them. I, I don't let the hair grow here because it just doesn't ever look good. It's just hard. So I'll tweeze them so they're, they're like this, but um, that's just how I do it. And that makes my nose look big. Well, whatever. So um, I basically, I use a few different uh, tools and eyeshadows to uh, line my eyebrows. Um, this, I actually, this is a, a brush I got at the dollar store. And I have two of them because I just like to have them in case I lose one. So I have multiple brushes of each. So as you see, it's like a, an eyeliner brush. This is a pretty good brush for two dollars. So um, what I do now I have multiple, as long as I have a nice dark brown color, um, this is my Claire palette, I love this, it was $15 at Claire's of course, I also have a CoverGirl Eye Enhancers, it's just like a dark brown, and I like something that's really pigmented, of course, I will grab into the brush and line my brows really well, so I either use this kind of like spicy brown, or this like dark dark brown. So what I do is I just put it in a little bit. And for a more dramatic effect, I wet it, but I like I don't really like to do that because it does wash off. So I like to do the powder look. I'll show you how I do them. Um, here. So what I do, this is a little hard to do. Um, I start here and I make that little like indent. If I make mistakes, I can just go back with concealer and liner brow. So, usually I'll start. And I always like to make this not rounded looking, this start here. So I kind of can see that. And I kind of go around out of the, um, I thicken it up just here. Not too much because if you look close, you know you can tell that my eyebrows are very thin, and of course they are drawn on. You can you can tell that, but I still like to make them look a little natural. So I the arch is it's still pretty hard for me to do. And then going down here, this is tricky. This is why it's best to take the eyebrow piercing out if you have one, and go over because usually with my eyebrow piercing, the ball is right here. So I kind of make this weird curve going down there. So this is always very tricky, and I just and it, it I gradually fades out. I do it like that. 
So that's I like to bring it just down there, as you see. Mm, oh yeah, so just the outer edge of my eye. And I'll just exaggerate a little bit more. I always like this part really smooth here, so I'll smooth that out. And that's how I do my I like my eyes, my eyebrows really arched. So um yeah, I'll do the other one. But um there you go, that's how I do my eyebrows. And it's a little messy there. I'm gonna go back and fix that. And then uh because I do get like rough bumps around here. I get ingrown hairs and stuff, I get ingrown hairs here. So I just cover that up with some concealer. And I'm using this this is almost out, this is like an NYC. I like that it's this little flat brush here. Very tricky not to get it onto the hair. So, and then I'll go over that with the powder and set that. Oops. So, I don't know, this is just a my eyebrows trend day. Uh, what I mean by trend is I go through different stages with them. Like, um, they were really thin last summer, and then I started growing them out in March, and then they were super thick in April and in until June, and then I started tweezing them again. So it is, takes a lot of time to grow them back out because you have to deal with the stubble and you just want to get rid of it, you don't have to deal with it. So those are my eyebrows.